I joined TSL um, because this is one of the research hubs um, uh, that's very focused on plant microbe interactions and especially plant pathogen interactions, uh, which is uh, in, in my heart, that's the research that we do and that's the research that we love. And, and I feel the colleagues in TSLs um, are um, doing projects that are related to ours, um, but also very compatible and complementary. And a lot of the approaches uh, that's very routinely used in TSL um, are very useful to, to our projects too. And we can also bring in some new novel approaches and, and toolkits to, to TSL. So I think this is um, a very compatible uh, interaction and, and uh, a lot of scientific um, in intellectual discussions. Uh, I think they uh, really would help my group, myself and my group members uh, to um, to better our science. Um, and also TSL is within the uh, Norwich Research Park uh, with the John Innes Center um, in the next door. Uh, and we think that's also very important to have this very broad interaction, have the opportunity to have these very broad interactions with plant biologists, microbiologists, and uh, uh, biologists working on animal systems. Um, we think this, this hub um, is going to really uh, be very, very beneficial to, to our research development. Yeah, so, so in terms of discoveries, I think one thing that we are quite proud of uh, is, is focusing on these effector proteins that we have been uh, working with in the past 15 years or so. And, and these are, if we think about plant pathogen interactions, it's, it's really a battle between plants which have their shield and that's their immune system and pathogens uh, which have their swords and, and that would be the virulence proteins or virulence factors. We found these effectors that produced by uh, pathogens uh, can suppress the the RNA silencing pathway in plants. And, and we feel, I feel this is a very important discovery is because from one hand, uh, we now know a very novel virulence mechanism that helped the pathogens to defeat the plant immunity. But on the other hand, this also uh, established or help establish a role of RNA silencing as an in, in integrative component of plant immune system. Um, so this is a, a, if you have a sword that attack a particular shield, and that means that particular shield must have an important function. So using effectors as molecular probes, we can uh, really find um, novel uh, component and key components in plant immune system. That links back to uh, Sir David Bocom, uh, who is um, really one of the founding scientists of TSL. So that's actually very special that I uh, am stepping in uh, David's previous institute, um, where he made a fundamental, absolutely pioneer work in small RNA and, and small RNA silencing. And, um, and, and viral, antiviral immunity. Um, and I feel um, my research speaks to that and absolutely got uh, inspired by David's pioneer work. Um, but what, what we uh, work on are non-viral pathogens. So, um, so I feel that uh, they're related, um, but they're also um, uh, sort of separated uh, from, from that perspective. It's an expansion, I guess, from, from, from David's work. In the future or in our ongoing uh, work, what's the most you know, exciting things that we're working on that we wanted to answer? Um, so, so there are, um, I guess, two, two aspects. Um, uh, one is um, effector evolution. So, so this is something that my lab has been really uh, interested in for, uh, for many years. And, and the fundamental question that we wanted to answer 
is how pathogens evolve to become pathogens. Uh, and this is, um, this is really a fascinating biology question. Uh, why would a interaction or partnership turn bad? Um, and, and how could pathogen gain that ability to cause disease? Um, and uh, plants have a very sophisticated and, and robust immune system. Um, so disease is quite, except, quite an expect, exception. Um, and and how, um, how, how does evolution work to um, to make a organism a pathogen. Um, so, so we wanted to really understand um, the evolutionary mechanisms of, of path in pathogens of these virulence-related genes. And, and some of our uh, current uh, projects are studying uh, tandem repeats uh, in these virulence factors and proteins um, that um, potentially promote recombination-based um, neo-functionality and uh, multifunctionality. And we think that's, uh, that's something that's uh, quite new and very exciting. And, uh, and by knowing that, we can really predict or um, slow down uh, that uh, evolution and, and so that we can make a step forward uh, before the pathogen evolved, right? So, um, and then so that we can better manage uh, disease. Because um, resistance will always impose selection pressure on the pathogens to evolve. Um, so we can never change that as natural selection. Um, but if we know how they evolve and what's the mechanism underlying their evolution, we can then better control uh, the disease. So another aspect, um, goes back to, to small RNAs and as a, a uh, plant immune mechanism. So, so we want, we're interested in uh, how, how do these small RNAs produced by plants confer the resistance? And uh, what, uh, is, is there a specific uh, small RNA pool um, that function as uh, the, um, the, the, the weapons, uh, because we know small RNAs are very important regulators of endogenous genes. So is there, are, are these processes separate, um, endogenous gene regulation versus a pathogen gene attacking? So, uh, so we're um, also trying to understand that, that process too.